You know what I think they really should be focusing on? I think they should be focusing on keeping our borders secure. I think they should be focusing on fighting, you know, China's encroachment through cybercrime. The Liberals announced yesterday that they're going to combat online hate, whatever that means. Um, do you think that the minister, Stephen Gilbo, someone who's been arrested multiple times, uh, is the kind of person who should decide what hate is? And do you trust the Liberal government to regulate what is said on social media uh, when an election is looming? Well, we'll see what they actually put forward and if they actually put forward anything concrete uh, to match their words, because they do have a habit on, of doing that on almost every issue, talking and talking. Um, that's not always matched with action. But I guess what I would say instinctually, uh, without seeing what they're actually going to do, is um, laws for that already exist. And I don't know that the highest priority right at this moment is for the Liberals to be dreaming up more ways to enforce everybody to hold, share their own opinion and say what they want to think. So we will be looking to see uh, to see what they actually come out with. But you know what I think they really should be focusing on? I think they should be focusing on keeping our borders secure. I think they should be focusing on fighting, you know, China's encroachment through cybercrime and um, and uh, compromising and and bullying influencers and having two uh, Canadians held against their will in that country and buying up resource companies and uh, and resources and interfering in Canadian telecom. I think they should put forward to Canadians a plan on exactly what their next steps are going to be through the pandemic and a roadmap and very concrete actions to economic recovery and to get the budget under control. I would suggest to them that those should be their priorities. And I just have to ask because I saw you walk by those radical environmentalists on the stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you say to them? Well, everybody's got the free right uh, to, to protest and to share their views and voice their opinions. But I did point out uh, the variety of articles of their clothing and also the big tarps they have their messages written on are plastic and made from fossil fuels. All right, well, uh, good luck in there. And uh, any idea what the NDP are going to do? No idea. I mean, I think what strikes me is uh, how similar the Prime Minister and the leader of the NDP are in terms of their, um, shall we say, showmanship. But uh, they've been bosom buddies propping each other up over the last six months. So who knows what, uh, what Jagmeet Singh will do, but hopefully it'll actually be in the best interest of Canadians. Thanks so much for tuning into our coverage here at Rebel News. If you go to Help Rebel News, you'll be able to help us stay on the road, keeping this government to account. Justin Trudeau's grip on power has never been more tenuous, and the mainstream media has never abdicated their duty more than they have over the past few months. If you go to helprebelnews.com, you'll be able to help us stay on the road, covering the things that the mainstream media just won't.